I've honestly got goosebumps. Wow! Can an underdog story be told? Yorkshire takes on Leicestershire. Tigers take on Foxes as a team competing to play for the playoffs takes on a team who should easily walk the league. Today will be loud, <laughs> packed and a very difficult game. But can the Tigers take on the odds and beat Leicester in their own back garden? Yes, the hardest game of the season has come around as Hull City take on Leicester City in the fifth round of the most exciting, most competitive and most hectic league in the world, the EFL Championship. Now don't get me wrong, I love to stay optimistic in my vlogs. Last season I was a little bit negative. But when it comes to this game here, and probably this game only, it's like playing Accrington Stanley against Man United. You look at Leicester's team, and it's arguably a mid-table Premier League side. Wilfred Ndidi, James Justin, Jamie Vardy, Kieran and Dewsbury all. Not to mention they've signed Connor Cody, who played for England last season, and Harry Winks, who started a Champions League final only three years ago. It goes up past my brain what's happening today. The team they've got, they should not be in the championship. But then again, Hull City have had a, a decent transfer window. Nowhere near Leicester's. But if you think about it, Liam Delap, Aaron Conley, Ruben Vinagre, Tyler Martin and Jaden Philogene, you compare that to two seasons ago, we're on a roll. Maybe not today, but we're on a roll soon. I'll tell you that now. The last competitive fixture between the two teams ended in a 3-1 loss to Leicester. I mean, at the end of the day, they had a fantastic squad and they just won the league. Goals from Chris Fuchs. Yeah, that's his name. I'm not swearing. That's his name. <laughs> Riyad Mahrez and Tom Huddleston own goal. Yeah, we were all out of the park that day. But today could be a little bit different. You never know. You never know. Today, we take the two and a half hour journey to the King Power Stadium. And I tell you what, I've been watching Leicester since they won the league. Yeah, it's a bit like that. Not as a fan. I'm not a glory supporter. But I just had a, a real big fascination with Leicester. They're a fantastic club. I've wanted to get tickets at the King Power Stadium. So this is my first time going. And I'm really looking forward to it. They've got a fantastic club. The fans are great. And it'll just be a good day out. I'll see you when we get down there. There's no need to waffle because there's a good chance we're going to get battered. We're up the Tigers. Leicester, here we come. I'll tell you something, it's a bit sharp outside. It's blooming cold. You'd have thought it was still summer, but no. It feels a bit like autumn now. Oh man, heck! You're not optimistic, Grandad, are you? Right, he wants to be in the vlog. I'll ask you a few questions. All right, great. <laughs> what do you think of the signings we made yesterday? Oh, I'm buzzing with him. I'm really buzzing. Don't know a lot about Fairlong. Don't know a lot about the Turkish fella. I know he's for the academy though. Uh, Jaden, it's been a long time coming in. It's a class signing. Um, and Tyler Morton, I've heard good things. Fantastic. This We've arrived in Leicester. 15 minutes to go, we'll be at the ground. And there it is, what a stadium, what a club. Quite a few people around the stadium at the moment. Two hours till kickoff. Blimey, there's plenty to do before a match day. You've got... You can tell this club was in the Premier League last season. Lucas are just walking round ground. And we've just bumped into Connor Cody. Nice fella. Really nice guy. I took photos with like yeah, 600 people. <laughs> Telly just wanted to get into the ground, the poor guy. The fact that he played for England six months ago is just crazy to me. How on earth is Vardy, Mab Diddy, and Harry Winks in the championship? It blows my mind. That's a good idea. Let's Look at that. Game. Some scram that. What have you got? Oh, Top. Okay. What's mother got? Yeah. Cheesy chips. Right, here we go. We're in. Lovely. Right, on this side, because it's a tight squeeze for me. And we're in. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, after a two and a half hour drive, we finally arrived here at the King Power Stadium. And wow, what a stadium it is. It's obvious to see that this stadium is not meant to be in the championship. The entertainment outside, what they're doing for the fans and how big and fantastic this stadium is, it should be in the Premier League and possibly should be in Europe. You have to think only four years ago they were battling in the Champions League and they still got a very good squad. 
and the time is 10 past two the lineup has just been announced and i must admit it's a usual team aaron conley gets into the lineup for the first time this season and the big surprise is Doe Hansen. He makes the match day squad for the first time since January 2023. Now you take a look at Leicester's squad and it's arguably the best team to ever grace the championship. The fact that Leicester's best ever striker or one of the best ever strikers in Jamie Vardy is sat on the bench. It just shows how much squad depth they have. And you look at the team, it arguably is a Premier League squad. They've kept hold of Wilfred Ndidi, who on his day is one of the best midfielders in the Premier League. Arsenal wanted him a couple of weeks ago. So for him to start every game in the championship, it blows my mind. <laughs> And if we don't lose three or four nil, then we pulled off something fantastic. But without further ado, here's your lineup to take on Leicester City. In goal, Matt Ingram. Today's captain and right back, Louis Coyle. Left back, Ruben Vinagre. The two centre backs are Jacob Greaves and Alfie Jones. In midfield, Jean Michel Serry, Regan Slater, and Adama Triori. And up front, Scott Twine, Aaron Connolly, and Liam Dalla. Right, we're joined, Louis Lucas. Uh, how are you, mate? I'm feeling great. Haven't you been with me all day? You could have. <laughs> I am, I'm but it's for the camera. I'm feeling great, I'm feeling excited. Brilliant. Are you optimistic? No. Yeah. What's your score prediction? Maybe. Um, I think it's going to be an absolute firecracker. It's going to be 0 no, 0. No. <laughs> and you're going to ask me the scorers. I'm at. You are. The scorers are going to be the no scorers one. Scorers in a 0 0 draw. There's going to be no one. Mum, are you optimistic today? Fantastic. Well, when I get my mum in a score prediction or on camera, we never tend to lose. So I'm hoping for the same today. What's your score prediction? 4 0 Leicester. Oh dear me. There's a new signing right in old socks. Steady hands. Isn't starting today, but you do expect him to be slotting into the number one spot within a matter of games. Substitutes James Justin. Loney from Chelsea. Can you just look at this bench? The bench alone could win the championship. What an atmosphere. I'm going to have to speak loudly because club foot by the Kasabians blasting out on full speakers. But I'm looking forward to it. And here we have it. All City take on Leicester in the fifth round of the championship. I can't even hear myself think. It's that loud in here. What an atmosphere. Leicester packing out their stadium. Hull City packing out the away end. It's going to be a top one, and hopefully come the end of the season, two Premier League clubs. For I can't help falling in love with you. That's how I get! That's how I get! What an atmosphere! And it will be number 44, Aaron Connolly, to take kick off for the Tigers. I don't know if you can hear me, but what an atmosphere. Wow! Come on, City! Oh dear! Come on, Liam! Well, in that! Come on, in there! Just look at that! We'll sing all day! All City away! Fair play to Leicester, they got that section singing, that section with the drum, that section over there, which reminds me a lot like Crystal Palace's fans with the flags and the ultra. Packed out atmosphere in the championship, fantastic. Ten minutes in, and I know I say it most vlogs, but this is genuine. I've got goosebumps on the atmosphere. It Incredible. really is. Incredible. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. The fact that Leicester's packed out in the championship, we've packed it out, singing at the top of our lungs, every single chant, everybody in the away is stood up and singing. It's incredible. And we're playing well as well. We haven't been dominated, we're passing it round well. The only player I would say is still a little bit unfit, it's Ruben Benagre. It's a little bit sloppy on the ball, but apart from that, absolutely fantastic. Aaron Connolly! Connolly! Aaron Connolly! Oh, wow. Well in. Well in. <laughs> yes! 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 
Play fantastic, and we are. No one is doing anything wrong. It oh, really is. is. He is getting torn apart by Kane and Jewsbury all, but he's still put a right shift in, and we haven't conceded. Oh. I'm usually going down, but I'm just enjoying the moment. What an atmosphere it's been. If we can hang on to this, it'll be a historic oh. win. Oh. In fact, their bench is like twice as good as the first team at the moment. Stefan Abdidi. Jamie Vardy, Hamza Chowdhury, is it Kai Seder from Chelsea? We, we have to be careful. We are dominating at the moment. They make a few subs. This game could go on his head. But I'm staying positive. We're toying around with Leicester City. Can't get better than that. I want to feel the heat with Bernard Ray. Oh, wow. Seven years ago, they won the Premier League. Six years ago, they were in the Champions League quarter final. And now we're beating them. Three years ago, they won the FA Cup. There you go. I must admit, first 10 or 15 minutes, Ruben Benagre looks a little bit shaky. But now he's the best player on the pitch, controlling the ball, riding around the players. He just looks magnificent. Fantastic deal by Liam Rossini. Really is. Let's hope he can keep him fit. We know his injury record is a little bit disturbing. But he's back now. I think Sarri's just been sent off. Oh. I think it was at the left yellow card. Oh, like what? Right, no one's been sent off. I have no idea what was going on. But they do have a free kick. And Kane and Jewsbury are always more dangerous than Scott Twine at free kicks. We know that, we've seen it. Oh, right, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> wow! 45th minute, three minutes has been added on. We need to just go into the half time, 1 0 up, because we know what happens at Norwich. Liam Dolap scored, and they scored an extra time of half time, and they went on to win it. We can keep composed, not let them get any opportunities, and we can hopefully go for a win, bring on a few fresh legs. But apart from that, it's been a fantastic game and an atmosphere that I will always remember. What a day it's been. Right. Any second now, Red? And there we have it. What a half! Half time 1-0, we'll get into it in a minute. Half time then, 1-0 up, and what a half of football that has been. I'm not over exaggerating when I say the atmosphere has been one of the best for seasons, it really has. Lucas usually corrects me when I say something daft like that when it's been you know, 500 in the away, but genuinely today it's been something special. The goal came from a lovely shot from Liam Delap outside the box, I've watched it back. And it was just incredible the way he shrugs off his defenders and just slots it. The ball seemed to be shooting and rolling across the floor for a long time. It was just that precise. The goalkeeper could do nothing about it. On the bench then, Jason Lakilo, Andy Smith, Cyrus Christie, Harry Vaughan, Tim Latala, Ali Arsai, Manesh. Quite a strong bench, although you're missing the presence of Xavier Simons and Ryan Longman and Brandon Fleming. But hopefully with the new signings, you know, that massively improved. I mean, I'm going to keep this short. Second half. Just anything the same as that one. I mean, I'll have we take a 1 0 win. That would be absolutely fantastic. I'll see you in the second half. I'm losing my voice and I'm going dizzy. Kelechi, Ian Atro, to take kick off in the second half for Leicester. Lucas and my mother are still in concourse screwing the drink, so it's just me at the moment. A little bit nervous, but hey, we'll keep marching on. 
But we're not a Leeds fan. We'll keep walking on. No substitutions for either team, though. Right, here we go. I can just tell this is going to be a long slog of a second half. Quick! Go on! Leon! Torrin! Ah! I don't often talk about opposition substitutions, but Stefan Mabdini's coming on for Leicester, and he's a real powerhouse, very technically gifted. I'm a bit scared, I think he's going to be facing our defence in a minute. I think that Kai Seed is coming on as well from Chelsea. He's a real powerhouse and all. Was on loan at Reading last season. Very good footballer. It's only a red. Is he walking? No. That <laughs> sound. <laughs> Liam's a laugh. Liam's a laugh. 60th minute was that chance, the one to bury it. I hope we don't regret that one. We've been playing fantastic. We've kept the same tempo that we had in the first half and really going for it. And so's the atmosphere. Liam's a lap. One of the best forwards we've had for a while now. There's no chance of keeping him permanently if he does well. We'd like to think he can do a lot in the season he's got with us. I imagine Jaden Phillips going to tie them up with his squad as well. We're going to win the league. I mean, oh. Double substitution for all city. Ruben Benagra and Adama Traore comes off. I think it's Sean McLaughlin and Cyrus Christie to come on. Two defensive substitutions. I think we're just going to try stay compact and make sure not to concede. Brilliant. Love to see Cyrus on the pitch. Very difficult. He's a fantastic right back, but Louis Cole equally is brilliant. Just want to confirm Regan Slate as the best midfielder in Championship. <laughs> Tormented by all the Hull fans in the friendly last season. Bit of a hostile reception. But hopefully we can keep him quiet because on his day he's the best striker in the Premier League and he's in the Championship. What is going on? Hey! Come on! <laughs> Seri's just incredible. Go all the way. Might as well, mate. Well, he tried. I know I am, I'm sure I am, I'll sit till I die. Sit till I die! 20 minutes to hold on against the best team in the league. The most expensive squad in the league. I'm really in disbelief of what we're seeing today. It's just mesmerising. Maybe five times louder than Blackburn. This team is arguably top 15 in the Premier League. I know they've lost a couple of players, but we'll invest well with Madison's money. You know, they've got about 60 million with him and a few others. Please, please, please. No! This will be genuinely heartbreaking. This may just be the most battled out win we've had for a while. And if we concede with a free kick in the 82nd minute, that is heartbreaking. It will be Stefan Mavadidi or Kane and Dewsbury all to take. Come on! 
good, Rugs good, Rugs fine, Rugs fine, Ali Ali is on the mark. Please keep going, please keep going. Go on Liam, please. of the Trujan Rule City, Ali Asimez comes on, Liam to the goal scorer comes on, we just have to hold on now. Another free kick opportunity. No. Please no. No. No! Get in! Wow! I'll tell you something, I've never been so nervous for an opposition team for the corner of throwing. But I've been so excited and joyful when we got a throw in or an attacking opportunity. It's just mental, we've gone this far. A draw wouldn't be a good result at this stage. We have to go for a win here. And what a win it'll be against some of the league, Leicester. Come on! Three minutes of being added on! <laughs> wow! I was expecting six or seven, maybe even more. What an atmosphere! Come on! Two minutes to stop a ball from going in the net. Unless it's that net there. We know what happened at Norwich, so that's why I'm holding my breath. We can't celebrate too early. But a minute and a half until we beat Leicester City is something pretty special. Stadium's actually rocking. I'm not even joking, not in like a, a metaphoric term. It was literally shaking. Please, Ben, please, please. Bridge up. That's surely it now. Oh, that's all mine. Here we go. Let me get from my shed. This is what we're saying. We are alone. We are alone. Yeah. What a win. I've honestly got goosebumps. Wow! The stadium is shaking. We're all city. Wow. I'll see you when we get home. I'm mesmerized. Up the Tigers, 1-0. 1-0. Come on. What a win. E -I -E -I -E -I -O. There's not a lot more I have to say about that. My throat is absolutely killing me. I'm going to have an absolute banging headache in the morning. But it was all blooming worth it for a massive three points against arguably the best ever championship team to grace the league. Leicester fans, it just wasn't your day. But I must admit, you've got some quality fans. Not often do you see a championship team with more than one section singing. But with Leicester, you've got the section next to the away fans on the left with a drum and singing. On the right, it, fantastic noise. And then you've got that section to the left-hand side of the corner of the stadium which has got the banner, another drum, and it looked like a lot like Crystal Palace's ultras, up and going, singing all the time and cheering on the team. I wish you all the very best for the rest of the season. Let's be honest, you will do a lot better than what's happened today. You will be pushing for automatics, probably hoping to break records because you've got one of the best teams I've ever seen in the championship. I'll be honest, I go on a lot of tangents in my vlog and say... The away atmosphere is fantastic, and it usually is. But today was just something so special. I've seen nearly 100 people on Twitter saying that they've been supporting City for 20, 30 years, and it's the best atmosphere and the best away game they've been to. And from my personal experience, it was just absolutely rocking today. The best atmosphere I've seen for years. Probably the best atmosphere I've seen at a game for Hull City. The fact is... At the 90th minute, we were jumping up and we actually made the stadium rock and shake. That is just something to be proud of. It's been a great game, a great day, and I just feel so proud to be a Hull City fan. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed, please like, subscribe and turn on notifications. That would really mean so much. It's been a true pleasure taking you to the King Power Stadium, a fantastic ground to watch Hull City in a historic victory. I'll see you in the next video. It is international break. I'm not too sure that I'll be going to any League 1 or League 2 games. But if not, I'll see you at the game against Coventry at the MKM Stadium on the Friday return from international football. Up the Tigers. What a win. In the IEIO.